Hey guys, it's Dave with My Freedom Smokes. Today I'm going to talk to you about an item we got in for a sample for a review. Uh, this is not something we carry at the moment. Uh, maybe something we pick up in the near future. It might be just something fun we get to play around with and let you guys check out in a video. Uh, what it is is the Alpine RDTA from Synthetic Cloud or Synthetic Cloud. I'm not sure how you would actually say that. It's the words synthetic and cloud mashed together. Um, it's a 24 millimeter RDA, uh, holds three mils of liquid and it's a Genesis style RDA. Um, two post design with a center fill post. It almost looks like a third post, but it's actually where you fill your liquid. Um, it's kind of a cool and then kind of was a little headache when I was first starting to try to get used to this thing. I'll kind of talk about it a little more in a moment. But essentially you just got a positive post and a negative with Phillips head screws, which is always nice to have. I know a lot of people out there don't really care for the little Allen grub screws just because you can round them out so easily. Phillips head's always nice and solid, um, usually hold up a little better. Um, it's got the airflow that goes up under the coils and into the side. There's actually a little uh, Cyclops hole right up under the coil and it comes out in these channels here. And that is adjustable on the bottom uh, just by turning the cap. And you also got above coil airflow. And the way that works is there's actually holes in the top of the cap here and those come out the side. And that is adjustable as well by turning your drip tip. The drip tip actually has little fins on it. I'm gonna pop that off, see if I show that to you real quick. Come off of there. As you can kind of see, that drip tip has little fin or little openings. And when you turn that, those openings actually open and close that airflow on there. So, with that being said, you now know it's uh, not gonna be something you can go throw your favorite drip tip on. You're gonna need to use a drip tip that comes with it just the way the airflow is on the top there. And it's just kind of, there's an O-ring around that little thing and the drip tip pops in there. Let's go ahead and throw that drip tip back on. There's a little Delrin drip tip, so it's not, you don't have to worry about getting hot and being a metal drip tip or something like that. All right, put this back in here. And now if you see on the top cap, there's actually a little white O-ring and that goes into the top of the little fill chamber and that kind of helps seals it off. They do call this thing leak proof, spit back proof, all that. Uh, I haven't had any issues with that. My biggest issue when I first started, like I said, was filling this thing. With it being in the top fill like that, um, and there's no little air vents or anything like that, which I've seen in some of these Jenny styles, when you go to fill it, it has a way for air to be pushed out as it's displaced. I was using a squeeze bottle and I'd put it in there and basically it would make a vacuum. It's putting pressure, I'd squeeze the bottle and it wasn't filling. Um, and it was actually trying to come back out the top I reworked the cotton just slightly, fluffed it up a little more so it wasn't packed quite as tight and I was able to get a little bit uh, better filling out of it and it did kind of work itself over after a while with the original wicking I did on there where it would fill it. Um, when it was a little tight I just found if I took like a little tw pair of tweezers or something I could move some of the cotton slightly to the side, open up the airflow coming out of the tank when I'd squeeze in there the air would push out of the tank and fill up. So that worked out nicely. Um, Still, even when it was overflowing and stuff like that, they got a nice basin around here basically to catch any extra liquid that may come out of there. Um, and then that's going to go into your cotton, almost like the uh, juice well on an RDA. So they've really put some thought in here to make sure that you're not going to uh, overflow or have any kind of leaks with this tank. I put a real simple build in there. It's just a uh, single strand or it's dual coils, each of them are single strand, 24 gauge. Uh, eight wraps on a three millimeter, I'm reading a 0.35 on here. But uh, let's have a couple of vapes on it for you real quick. And I've always found these Jenny styles are something you're really not going to want to put a whole lot of power to, or at least I personally don't. Um, just because you start throwing a lot of power to it and may not wick it quite as fast as you want and you might start getting some burnt hits. So I'm, like I said, I'm running 55 watts, um, probably do 65, 70 if I'm wanting to get a little more cloud out of it. But anything over that, I usually start to get some burnt hits. Um, so yeah, it vapes really nicely. Um, once I got past that, getting the juice fill uh, ended up turning out to be a nice little RDTA. I know last week I was actually thinking, you know, I really don't like this thing. I don't 
I got a few nice things to say. I was going kind of trash it a little bit because the filling kind of upset me. But when I redid the wicking, I was able to get the fill a lot easier. So got that settled. And that was actually my biggest con was just the way the filling worked on it. Uh, some of the extras you get in the box here is going to be your extra glass and a little goodie bag here with some extra screws and then just extra o-rings and they also even give you a little extra o-ring for that one i showed you in the cab that fills off your uh closes off your fill port and make sure you don't have any leaking coming out of that so it looks like they basically got all the seals in the tank as replacements which is nice because i hate when i get a tank and the one seal that goes out happens to be the one they forget to include in your little goodie bag. So it's nice to see that it looks like they got pretty much everything covered in here as far as replacements. You got two full replacements on your screw or one set of replacements for your screws and then all the O-rings you need for the tank. So it's a little nice little setup. Um, I'm not sure if we'll be picking these up in the store in the near future, but uh, it's definitely something worth checking out if you do find it available. And as the Alpine RDTA from Synthetic Cloud. If you have any questions about this RDTA, please leave them in the comments below. As always, I'm Dave with My Freedom Smokes, and thank you for vaping. Mm -hmm.